What the what? fuck is this grading system? What the fuck? What date? How are how are we being evaluated on this? Our paranoia and crime meters are bottoming out right now. <laughs> what what the fuck is this guy? This is trolley knife to Oh no, what we, we What the fuck? What well, do we <laughs> count in the fucking date? <laughs> the trolley and shit! Oh my god, if they keep that up until like the last day, that'd be hilarious. Well, I'm doing oh my god, like, we're we just never see Robert again, and it's <laughs> just all these dates that we're completing. <laughs> I can see them doing that, actually. I love it. Oh my god, well, I'm doing after we're doing the mail truck pulls to the call to sack. I wonder if we've got any coupons today. The nice mail person finds that a couple of letters on large yellow envelopes in the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Oh my god. Hey, my coupons. Take a close look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I love the knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just so you want this big old envelope we got from HIA. All right. Immediately, Amanda pushed the door open. Horn Institute. Horn. Oh. Horny Institute for the Arts! I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears up with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits in a piece of the envelope. She pulls the letter and unfolds it. And... Spence is killing me. It's their dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't... I got in! Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Aww. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed the interview and your photography is incredible. Oh. Wait, Dad. Oh. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. Think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to. I know she's had a heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Mm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner. Your choice. Wherever you want. Mm. Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into a foil wrapperita from a nearby food truck. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Let's give me a Rito with a view. So that's nearby, there's a discount if you bring your student ID. And Amanda, slow down, you're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? We all have professional photo editing software free. That is big. It's nice to see Amanda so much as you at HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites for a burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. Wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. Maybe we're gonna be best friends. Quig and I were. A good roommate got an under the voice. A good roommate could be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about a new foreign exchange student with a really bad cough that sounds exactly like a dog's bark. Oh yeah. Car oh no, Carl ruled. <laughs> If you have animals in the dorms, you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake, or maybe both. Would a snake get a rabbit, though? I don't know. Swicker, would you eat a rabbit? Oh boy, I think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited, I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Hmm. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it all I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horny's, we need that scholarship money. <laughs> I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. Pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? Send me some treacherous ice roads to cross. Don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. It'll be worse if I get to see you. Aww. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Hmm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. And I'm staring very intently so my eyes don't cry. I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry too. Crying party, let's go. 
It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste salt. No, sad and salty. Pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Yeah. Kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you too, pops. Whoa. What the fuck? Cocky, listen, this is you from the past. Well, how'd this happen? I think you're trying to reply to this because I know myself. This is an automated message you earlier this morning. When it was socially unacceptable to go out and buy ice cream. I forgot I did that. I forgot how I did that as well. The future is amazing! Listen, life is short and ice cream should always be acceptable. But unfortunately, this isn't the society we live in. <laughs> And it's less society we live in a more me project my own anxiety about being judged on the others, but you know what I mean. By the time you're reading this, it is a certain time of day in which nobody will bat an eye at you for going out and buying ice cream. Ooh, you know what to do. Be good, Oh mate. my god. Oh my- this game just gets better and better. I'm going to buy that ice cream, holy shit. Holy shit, what the fuck, dude? He's putting carbs in it for a big game. You know what, I've earned a treat. On the way home- on the way home from what? Oh right, yeah. So I'd stop off and grab some ice cream, which I fully plan to eat directly from the tub. Spent a lot of time trying to figure out what type of ice cream I'd like to eat directly from the tub. Rocky Road, pistachio. Oh, Amanda's probably gonna want some soon. Better get two tubs. She loves cookie dough ice cream, right? Hey, Mister. Or who is this? Turn around to see. Oh God. It's me. Go ahead. I turn around to see Ernest leaning up against the wall of the convenience store. Ernest. You're cool, right? Oh god, he's gonna try to sell me drugs. I'm so fucking cool. I'm cool, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Well, if you're cool, you'll help me out, right? I don't trust this kid. Oh, he's gonna buy it and he's gonna ask for cigarettes. Help you out. There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. Uh oh. So if I give you twenty dollars, will you buy me e liquid? Ernest, what's e liquid? It's, uh, like, Gatorade, you know? Electrolyte liquid. I'd get it myself, but I'm banned from here for trying to run a grift on the cashier. Classic fiddle game, you know the deal. <laughs> oh, if you're talking about balance of ice then I got you, little buddy. <laughs> I didn't know you played the fiddle. Oh my god, Gonky. I'm the clerk for the blue Kranz apple vortex. You don't know what it is. I have a sub statue of ice cream. I tell for Kido for Amanda. I search around for the blue crazy void stare, but can't seem to find any. I turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e liquid? Behind the counter, you got an ID? First of all, my daughter is older than you. Second of all, I'm flattered. I switched shampoo recently, and then taking the off. Oh my look, god. You'd be 21 to buy vape juice. Your hair doesn't look like a day over 20. Oh. Wait a minute. You're just trying to butter me up to get me to buy more ice cream because it's working. <laughs> I got to the side spot earned a stare at me. Double wait a minute. So you tell me that e liquid is not a sports drink? It's for vaping. Ernest is watching us intently through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. Oh my god. I see. Okay, look, I'm gonna pretend you didn't try to trick me into buying you the old Baphomet's cough syrup. And go inside to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell your dad if you promise to scram. And stop vaping, you'll get popcorn long. What if I give you $25? Go home, Ernest. I'm walking back inside, Ernest calls after me. You can get popcorn lung from microwave popcorn, you know. I no longer trust this child, but the mere notion of fear mere notion strikes fear into my heart. To complete my purchase with a good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bub. Glance out the window for a while to see Ernest outside. Looks like he's talking to some other poor sap. Yeah, this should go outside and save this other guy some grief. Wait a second, that's definitely a cop. Oh boy. Whoops! Grab my tub of ice cream and bolt outside. Oh my god. Ernest already faced down the hood of a squad car. <laughs> Ernest, did you just seriously try to get a cop to buy you e liquid? Do you know this kid? Uh, yeah, we live in the same cul de sac. I know his dad. Listen, he's a good kid, and... I'm this boy's father. What? Wait, what? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I turned around to see Robert walk up the street towards the convenience store. Uh -huh. Ernest. 
What are you doing? I want a lawyer. Mm. First of all, good instinct. Remember that you're not required to answer any questions from a police officer without a lawyer present. You're this boy's father? Yes, sir. Ernest likes to lash out at me like this. Ever since the accident. Oh, um... I don't like talking about it. That's fine. Mm. Robert gets a wistful twinkle in his eye. Oh. It all started seven summers ago. My hair was long then. New metal was still in style. Ernest and I were down in the Florida swampland, scavenging for... Sir, I can leave you to take it from here. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thanks, officer. Mm. Ernest, come along now. You'll be cleaning grout from the rain gutter for a week thanks to this transgression. Police officer gets his car and drives off. I'm stunned by how cool Robert was just there. Thanks. I wanna say... Richard? Ouch. <sighs> Don't mention it, Hemingway. Got in trouble plenty of times in my life, just trying to do my good deed for the day. Oh my god. <laughs> will you buy me e-liquid if I give you $20? Child, I will end you. <laughs> hey, Conky, will you walk Ernest home with me? Sure. Hey. Ernest runs ahead, presumably so he won't be seen with us, which is a thing I think kids do. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. Hmm. Well, maybe I wasn't as dumb. Seems like he tortures his dad. Yeah. Seems like he tortures just about everybody. He even stole your wallet. <laughs> oh my god! What? No, he did Pat my back pocket. I pat the rest of my pockets. He stole my wallet. Why are you doing this to yourself? I... what? Huh. Robert points to my tubs of ice cream. One of them's for Amanda. Oh. I have no qualms with the quantity of ice cream you've purchased. Perfectly respectable amount of ice cream. It's the quality I'm talking about. <laughs> you work hard, Conky. You're a good dad. Don't you think you deserve top shelf ice cream? But... These were on sale. If you're gonna treat yourself, go big or go home. Real vanilla bean. Real pistachio. You deserve it. Hey. Love that. We arrive at the cold second Ernest runs to his home. Mm. That boy is the reason why we don't have prizes in cereal anymore. Uh. Right. Oh. <laughs> what? Catch you around, conky. Robert tossed me my wallet. I catch it with a surprised look on my face. Robert's great. I stole it back. Amazing. Keep it in your front pocket or use a chain like back in your ska days. How the fuck do you know that? Smell you later. Oh my god. See ya, Robert. I go back to my home where to spend the rest of my night with two tubs of ice cream and also Amanda. <laughs> <laughs>